To make Greek pita bread, combine the sugar and the salt together with the sifted flour. To make really soft pita bread, you need all-purpose flour. Some recipes use uh, bread flour, but that yields pita bread that's a bit dense and definitely not as soft. Now add some vegetable oil. You can use either corn oil, sunflower oil or even canola oil. And now dissolve the instant dry yeast into some lukewarm water. This helps to activate the yeast much quicker. And now it's time to combine everything together and create our pita dough. I simply mix by hand and it's my preferred method because you get the feel of the dough. Uh, it will tell you if it needs some extra flour or extra moisture, meaning water. If you prefer though, you can use an electric mixer with the hook attachment on and work the dough until it's completely uniform. It takes about 6 to 10 minutes kneading by hand and this really depends on how much strength you put on. So it only needs about uh, 3 to 5 minutes if you use an electric hand mixer. Now shape the dough into a round disc and brush the bowl with some of the vegetable oil you are using. Place the dough inside and brush it also with some oil to prevent it from drying out on top. Cover the bowl with a dampened tea towel and allow the dough to rest. During resting time it should double in size. You can do this at room temperature or place the dough in a warm oven if it's winter time. After resting time, press the dough to remove the air from the inside and then carefully remove it from the bowl using a dough scraper. We do it this way to preserve some of the air that's inside the dough. We want to remove most of it so we can work the dough, but not all of it. Now knead the dough for one minute on your working surface and shape it into a log. Now it's time to cut and divide the dough. This recipe yields six large flatbreads. They're big enough to make Greek wraps like gyros wrap or souvlaki wrap. If you want a smaller pitas to use like for dips or in any other way, like a small flat bread, small bread, you can cut the dough in like 12 pieces, for example. And now after cutting the dough, we're gonna shape each piece into a round ball. The dough is really soft and easy to work with at this point. It's important to close the bottom so you will be able to give it a round shape and also to secure the air inside. Roll it on the counter a bit to help it give it a smooth shape And then after shaping each piece of dough, we're going to let them rest for a few minutes. So brush the surface with oil again and place each dough ball on top. And again we need to brush the surface of the dough with uh, some vegetable oil to prevent it from drying out. We will cover again with a dampened tea towel and we will allow the dough to rest again for 10 minutes. And now it's time to make our pita flatbread. And all you need to do this is your hands again. It's so easy to shape 
and it's very similar to when you're making pizza, but without tossing it in the air. Just press it gently until it opens up to your desired size. 20 centimeters, uh, which is uh, 8 inch, is big enough to make a Greek rub meaning it's big enough to fit all those delicious ingredients in it. You can find traditional Greek wrap recipes on the blog. Now heat a non-stick pan over high heat and brush it with some vegetable oil before you place the pita on it. Cook the pita for about one minute. You will see it will start to get bubbly on top. Flip it and cook for another minute and a half. When you remove it, place it on a clean tea towel. Absorb the moisture as the pita cools down. And now you can see how flexible and soft this pita flatbread is. Which means it's really easy to work with. And you can use it to make all kinds of wraps really. Just add inside whatever you like. It's going to taste amazing.